Now, one of the most useful tools for someone that's just learning the NEC uh, will be the index. The index, much like uh, Article 100 for definitions, is an alphabetically organized list of common terms, phrases, or items that are used throughout the NEC. However, the index is much more expanded than the definition section. And rather than just giving a definition of a word, this will actually give you a reference for where you would find uh, that item in the rest of the NEC. Uh, in one of our earlier lectures, we used an example of this for aircraft hangars being found in Article 513. Uh, now, I wanted to expand on that a bit in this lecture uh, and show some of the other ways that you can use the index, but also some of the shortcomings of it. Now, again, on the note of shortcomings, as with definitions, this is not an all-inclusive of every term that you could ever think of list. There will be some items that you go to look for in this list that you may not be able to find, uh, which on in the event of a timed exam can cause you to lose some time trying to find it. Uh, in reality, if you can avoid using the index, you're actually better off uh, to do that. Uh, however, there are some situations where it can be helpful. Uh, for instance, as we showed earlier, you can find a general article for an item. However, you can also find some specific items uh, if you're looking for in other specifics. So what I mean by that is, for instance, if we look at bonding here, uh, bonding is covered in part five of 250, so that's a specific reference in an article. However, we can see that we also have references for bonding as they apply to many, many other things as well. So for instance, we can see bonding in commercial garages specifically, or we could see bonding for cable trays specifically and find that information as well. Um, now, often is the case that you would be better off if you were trying to find information about bonding for cable trays rather than going to the index, looking for bonding, finding cable tray, and then going back to the article, you'd be better off to go straight to that article. Uh, however, that is an option. Uh, you will sometimes have references on exams for niche articles as well that you don't really know where are, uh, and again, can use that to find those. For instance, when I took my first exam uh, for a master license, I had a question involving electric de-icing equipment. So I went to the index to look for that term, and if we look for that here, uh, we would find that if you go to de-icing installations, it will tell you to see fixed outdoor electric de-icing and snow melting equipment. Uh, so this is another one of those shortcomings of the index that sometimes you will have to bounce around to different sections of it to find exactly look, what you're looking for. So in this situation, again, it's an example. We have de-icing installations, see fixed outdoor electric de-icing equipment. So we're going to go to our F section. And we're going to look for fix as the start of that here. And we see fixed electric space heating equipment. And here we go. We see fixed outdoor electric de-icing and snow melting equipment, Article 426. Now, an alternative to using the index in some situations can be, as we discussed in an earlier lecture, of familiarity with chapters. If you have a good idea, of what chapter the item you're looking for can be found in, you may be able to go to the content section of the NEC to find that item instead. So in this specific example, uh, we were looking for de-icing equipment or fixed outdoor electric de-icing equipment. And if I had thought that that could have been found in chapter four for general use equipment, again, I could have went to my content section I could have went to my chapter four equipment and just scanned through the different articles. If I scan through, start back at the top of the next page, and sure enough, fixed outdoor electric de-icing snow melting equipment. And I also received the page number for that as well. But again, back to our index, this can be a helpful tool for looking up those items. But again, you are best off if you can avoid uh, having to go to the index more often, and if you can learn 
uh, a combination of both the chapters and articles from a time perspective. 